you weren't. Art. My friend. Take two. My friends, welcome to this installation of art. My name is Miss Rebecca with the Shaler North Hills Library. That is Miss Ingrid behind the iPad. Yeah. Now today on. Um, we have an art that I haven't tried before. We're going to try. You just... hid it from me. I'm very excited. I'm glad you hid it from me. <gasps> Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. My friend. So today you will need a blue piece of paper. There it is. For your background. Yep. You'll need a brown piece of paper. For Rudolph's head and yep. ear. Yep. You need a white piece of paper for the antlers. Yep. You'll need a pink piece of paper for the inside of the ear. Yep. You need a black piece of paper for the eyeball or pupil, whatever. And you'll need a red piece of paper for Rudolph's nose. Yes. It's so cold in Dude, here. Dude, it's really cold. Like, it's, it's really unpleasant. I'm very cold. I mean, it's oh. pleasant being with you, but it's super cold, dude. Okay, this so is ridiculous. first of all, I'm going to make Rudolph's head. Okay. And then, I'm going to draw it out with my crayons. Oh, you'll need crayons or something to draw with, scissors and glue. Huh. So, I'm just going to eyeball this. I like your green sweater. Thanks. So there's Rudolph's head. And then I'm going to cut Rudolph's head out. And then after I cut Rudolph's head out, then I'm going to cut Rudolph's ear out. And what's uh, nice, yeah, okay. and what's nice is that I cut out Rudolph's head, so I can kind of see where where the ear ear would be. Oh, dude, that's clever. And then I'll cut, I'll just cut that ear out like that. So I drew it onto the head. Yeah. Because that's kind of where it looks like it is. Because remember, you still need your antlers. Clever. So. going to get my pink piece of paper and do the inside of Rudolph's ear. So here's Rudolph's ear. So I just need this little, I need a smaller shape than that. See, so I just made the same shape, but smaller. That's cool. Because then I'll cut that out and glue it on there. Cool, cool. Paper, so I'll put it down there. I'm gonna glue my internal ear on, but maybe I'll use this piece of paper as a pillow so my glue doesn't get on the yeah. table. Because this is an antique table from Van Gogh. It is at not all. an antique table at all. Important to remember that and remind people at home. Of but that. it is. That's not even true. But it would be cool if it was. And if we keep saying it, it might be true. That's not how Like, say you, works. like, aren't sure about something, like, what something adds up to. If you just keep mm -hmm. counting, okay, I need four cookies, but you only have three. And you keep like, oh, I'll just count them again, I'll count them again, I'll count them again. That'll work. It, it not. Work. So it's true. So now. You got three cookies, you got three cookies. No matter how many times you count them. And then I'm going to glue on my head. So go. once again, I'm going to use an old piece of paper to put my glue. Oops. I don't know what just happened. I think I ran over the scissors. I'm not sure. 
with your thing? This make you stick in that ink? Oh. Yeah. That's okay. I don't know. I'm just focusing on feeling my fingers. Yay. So now I'll line up the edge of Rudolph's head with the edge this of the This is collaging paper. with Miss Rebecca. Nice! And I press it down. So, so I've got my head on there. There's my ear. I don't know why you're not sticking. Oh, because I didn't put glue in the right spot. Hmm. That happens. Yeah. I just tapped it wrong. Because it's from my ear, so. Okay. It's made. And now I'm going to make the antler, which I feel could be the most challenging part of the project. Especially since I chose to glue Rudolph's face facing this way, so now my paper isn't so long. But that's okay, because I can just make it hang on. So now I'm just going to draw... You're breaking the wall. Yeah. Now I'm just going to draw kind of like what that looks like. Maybe during making Rudolph, you think, boy, I'm not really into this reindeer anymore. I'd love to make an underwater coral scene. There Look, you, you have your coral. You're getting started. It's awesome. Like maybe you're too cold to even think about a reindeer. Let me see. My, whatever. So now I'm cutting out my coral. And I'm cutting inside the line. So, you don't see all that brown. But that's if you do, idea. that's okay, too, because antlers are not white. That's true. I don't think so. I don't know. I don't think they are. Yeah, I don't think so. But maybe they are. I really don't know. Uh, but I don't think they are. I feel like they're like a light brown or something. But maybe antlers also change colors while they're growing and things. You know, like when they're little tiny antlers, like little oh, head yeah, antlers. yeah. Maybe they're one way, and as they grow, they get to be different They colors. can get to be, right, right. Or not. See, I've got to get rid of this. See, that's what you've got to do. Yes. You've just got too much paper. Right. Too much stuff. Bernstein bears and too much paper. Yep. Just... It would not be strange if we found out that we were actually outside. It's that cold. Well, we're inside. I know, but it feels like we're outside. A little bit. So, it does turn out we'll have a little bit dangled. Look at that. I think that's, that's festive. Okay. Yeah. Because I think that's festive. It is just okay. Yeah. Now, in nice. retrospect, that means looking back, I do believe I would have glued Rudolph's head on long ways. Like, so the paper was like this oh. instead of like this, just because I think the antler would have looked nicer that way. But it all yeah. works out. Yeah, and yeah. You know what? That's just like, sometimes you could, you... I mean, you could even put a little more glue, like, on the top of the antler. Oh, yeah, you could. Yeah, yeah, just to make sure, just to make it, like, more secure. But I don't know. I think it's festive with him jumping off the page. You can't put Rudolph in a corner. That's baby. So I'm going to make the, the eyeball now. <laughs> I'm not going to draw a circle. I'm just going to go wild and cut one. Just cut, cut, cut. Oh. Open, shut, open, shut. Move the paper as you cut. Beep. And now I'll get a littler, littler one to be inside. Whoops. To be inside of, what's the black part? The pupil? That's the pupil. Of 
The piece Rudolph. there is a stone. Well, not yet. First, we'll give Rudolph a little smile. Oh, that's cool. Oh, there is a smile on that. I didn't see that. Okay. A little smile. Which you could make a smile. And nice. then. Here it comes. What sets him apart? Is not at all the noise Rudolph's nose makes in the old school uh, show. It's alright though. There it is. And. Oh, that is so nice! I love it! Now you know what else you can add to it. So we're done with our glue. So what do we do? Put the cap on. back on. We're done with our scissors. We'll put that down there. We'll get out our very rarely used white crayon. Yep. Oh, nice. Place. Look at that. Now you can make like all kinds of different snowflakes because there, there are all kinds of different snowflakes. You can just make the kind like here where you're just making four X's. Yep. Or you can make the little kinds that are just little dibbles. That's so nice because snowflakes come in all different shapes and they sizes. They really do, and they're fascinating to see up close. They're really very beautiful. And I try to make them in random places, but, but sometimes that doesn't work out and they yeah. look like they're in order. But that's okay, too. Because awesome. maybe it's one of those weather situations where it's a mix. Yeah, a wintry don't, mix. Don't we all love those? Yeah. So nice. Look at that. There we go. Nice. I like yours best. Thanks. Do 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 Dude, I really do look like yours best. I love the shade that you chose for the background, and I love the way his antlers stick off. Thanks. Yeah.